Hi everyone, Chris here from My Old House Fix, and it's summertime, so what does that mean? Good time to take your radiator system down, your boiler, and do any work you have to do to your radiators. We have uh, hot water radiators here, so if you have hot water or steam, summer, like I said, summertime is the perfect time to pull these down, do any maintenance. We have these out for a couple rooms that we're working on, and we want to replace the shutoff valve. So before these go out to be sandblasted and painted, we're going to replace the shutoff valve. But when you're replacing the shutoff valve, you want to make sure you replace both pieces. It might be easier just to do the one half and tie it to the fitting that's already in the radiator. But as you see here, the fittings aren't always the same, and the flares are a little bit different. So this is a lot of older fitting here. So it's always best to replace these in set. So make sure you do both pieces here. So, so how to get this out, right? So you have three options here. You can use what's called a spud wrench. It has two little nubs on the end. It fits inside, grabs onto the two nubs, and hopefully you can take it out. If it's super tight, these usually don't work, and that's what happened on this one. So we'll be moving to option number two, which is pipe wrench. But before we can use the pipe wrench, I'm going to take a hacksaw, cut this fitting off here, remove the fitting, so we can get this pipe wrench on a piece of pipe sticking out, and remove it that way. So option number three, if that doesn't work, this is the tricky one, then we'll have to come inside, inside the fitting here, with either like a hacksaw blade and be really easy and cut through the pipe from the inside here sawing it from the inside and gently saw back and forth till we cut through the pipe you want to be really careful though when you're doing this this is the most tedious option that you have but it's also the last one so if this happens you want to make sure you're really easy go really slow cut through this pipe because you don't want to damage the threads inside the radiator or the fitting here so those are your three options spud wrench cut the nut off here and use your trusty pipe wrench if the pipe collapses and that doesn't work and it's super super tight then you have to use the hacksaw method cut it out really careful and that's it take them out get them sandblasted repainted powder coated whatever you like and your radiators are good to go and so that's a little summertime maintenance tip for your radiator system. All right, talk to you later. See you guys.